Toyota, though, seems to have found some for the CHR, an all-new model intended to replace a number of five-door offerings in the firm's international lineup. This is Toyota showing its not asleep at the wheel by actually putting some effort into designing a car for once. In actual fact, it's a small crossover hatch based on the new Prius's platform and available with either hybrid power or an underpowered 1.2-liter turbo which is, nevertheless, the engine to go for. But in the main, this is a car all about the design, from its willfully off body work to the cabin, which is Toyota's best effort since the Supra. And because the Coupe High Rider's chassis was set up by a racing fan, it's actually sweeter to drive than most of Toyota's other cars, despite being a tall, not especially lightweight full SUV. The disparate nature of its predecessors, which include conventional hatchbacks as well as a short lived, Oddball Mini MTV, the Urban Cruiser, helps to explain some of the thinking behind the model's mixed up looks, designed to combine coupe, hatchback and crossover influences. Just as it showed with the most recent Prius, Toyota is demonstrating a newfound fearlessness when it comes to design that is likely to lose it as many fans as it wins. Still. It doesn't seem unreasonable to suggest that the CHR might meet with a warmer reception from a fashion-savvy crossover-loving crowd than the latest Prius did with its largely middle-aged, moderate, conservative customer base. Underneath the skin, though, those two Toyota siblings are not so different. They share the same all-new global architecture, and the crossover also incorporates the latest version of the petrol-electric hybrid powertrain that made the Prius so famous in the first place. The hybrid model is partnered by a turbocharged 1.2-liter petrol option, but the car must toil against coupe, hatchback and crossover rivals without the downsized diesel motor that typically forms the backbone of two out of three sales in those segments. The CHR was originally conceived for Europe exclusively but has since been seized upon by a raft of other markets, most notably Japan as an essential and presumably desirable part of the brand's lineup over the next decade. 